Hi guys, Sandra here and welcome back to another video. You have no idea how excited I am to make this video where I'm going to paint with this set of 60 gouache colors from Arteza. Having so many gouache colors is like a dream come true as a gouache lover like me. <laughs> so I'm so excited to swatch all these colors and see what colors we get in this set. I'm so happy to collaborate with Arteza once more and for today's video, together with this set of 60 gouache colors, they also sent me two spiral bound pads of mixed media paper and their set of 12 metallic gouache colors. You guys may already know that I really enjoy using Arteza gouache so I already own their smaller set of 24 gouache colors and also their metallic gouache which I already made a review video about them which I will link the videos on top right and in the description if you'd like to check them out but for today it's the perfect occasion to talk about if you need 60 colors or getting a smaller set would be enough depending on your artist's level I will also talk about my personal recommendation of which colors are the most useful to create color combinations and more. But first of all, I want to give you some information about the supplies I got. I will start with the Arteza spiral bound pads of mixed media paper. I received two packs of them and they are huge. Definitely a sketchbook pad to anyone who likes to paint on a bigger paper size. The paper is 180 GSM. To my personal preference, I prefer working on a heavier weight paper, at least 220 GSM when painting with gouache, because the more heavy the paper is, the better it will absorb and hold water and paint, so a heavier weight paper won't buckle and won't bend easily, and it's also easier to work when laying down the paint. The paper looks quite cold pressed, but it's a bit rough to touch, but either way, I find this sketchbook great for practice and painting studies, so you don't have to waste a good watercolor paper just for practice paintings and not just with gouache but for any mediums. And I really like that in this sketchbook pad you can easily rip the pages off so it's suitable for both types of artists who likes to work directly on sketchbooks or on loose papers like myself. Then about this set of 12 metallic gouache colors, I already reviewed them in a previous video but I wanted to quickly say that I still find the consistency slightly harder to dilute with water and to lay down the paint compared to the regular gouache colors, but I think they are nice to use to add a touch of shine to your paintings, but they can also be mixed with normal colors to get different color combinations. And I think the reason it might be because of the pigments and mineral used to make the metallic colors, which might be harder to get a creamy consistency. These colors aren't super shiny. I personally like metallic colors to be more shiny, but this is just my personal preference. But a more subtle shimmer can be actually great depending on the finished look you are looking for. And I really like this color selection. Regarding Arteza gouache colors, both on the package and on the tubes, we can find information such as light fastness, opacity, pigment used and color swatch. Although, never rely too much on the color swatch you see on the tube, because most of the time, for many gouache brands, which also applies for Arteza tubes, the color swatch on the tube doesn't always match with the actual color inside, so it's always good to make your own color swatch chart to keep as reference when you get new colors. Gouache colors can be transparent, semi-opaque and opaque, usually with opaque colors it's easier to achieve a flat, uneven and velvet finish 
which gouache is known for and it has a better coverage when overlaying the paint more times while transparent colors are of course transparent but when doing color swatches you might get like stripes type of finish look and the coverage is weaker artisan light fastness system is represented by plus symbols i asked arteza about their light fastness rating and it goes from excellent to good compared to my previous arteza gouache i wasn't sure about their light fastness rating system since you can't find this information on their website and every brand has a different light fastness system but at the end arteza has a company provides different art supplies for an affordable price and I consider Arteza gouache to be a step higher in quality compared to most cheaper gouache because the paint consistency of Arteza gouache is creamy and very enjoyable to work with and the paint has a good coverage but if light fastness is a concern to you I would definitely recommend to use more professional artist grade gouache with a more secure and reliable light fastness information especially for gallery works or commissions but other than that Arteza gouache is the perfect set for beginners to learn how to paint with gouache but also for any artist level but now to get into the main topic I wanted to discuss today about the Arteza 60 gouache color specifically this set already includes the 12 metallic colors so you don't need to buy the metallic color set separately if you get this set and it also includes the 24 colors from the 24 color set of Arteza gouache but technically it's just 23 of the 24 colors and we get 25 new colors in the 60 color set because the mauve color in both sets are slightly different colors with different name and with different pigment use. I swatched these colors two times. I first made the color chart of the 60 colors following the order on Arteza package and then I made three separate color swatches of the Arteza 24 colors set that I already had of the 12 metallic gouache colors and the 25 new colors we get in the 60 gouache color set which I think this way it helps to see better what new colors we get in the 60 color set because maybe it's just me but the first question that came to my mind was what is the difference between the 24 colors and 60 color set and what new colors we get and if it's worth to get the bigger set and for me I really like the new colors added there are more skin tones colors more pastel colors and more variety of yellow, pink, purple, violet tones but even more blues and greens but especially I would say that some of these colors aren't very easy to create with just having the 24 color set of Arteza gouache because here is the thing when getting a small set like just the primary colors you have quite a limited color selection and color combination you can create and a limited color palette to work with for a beginner and if you just got into painting starting with the primary color plus white and black it's the perfect starter set to learn about colors in general and to create the secondary color of the color wheel so as a beginner it's perfectly fine to start with the primary colors and you can start creating art for sure but as you get more familiar with colors and color combinations I think you want to step up your color palette in your works and have more color variations and being able to create any colors you want so having a wider range of different colors and different color tones is quite essential in order to differentiate the types of paintings you can create now i don't think you need to have 60 colors in my opinion the most useful colors to have is white 
black, a cold and warm yellow, which can be lemon yellow and a mint yellow, a pink and a red, which I would pick vermilion red, and a magenta or rose. Personally, I like to have different types of blues to create different shades of green and purple, but I would definitely say to get an ultramarine blue and a lighter blue, and some greens, which for my personal recommendation, I would get sub green, a dark and light green, and especially some brown, which the most common and useful are yellow ochre, burnt sienna and burnt amber. And most of these colors you can find in the Arteza set of 24 gouache colors. So this smaller set of 24 colors from Arteza is really the perfect set to have the most important colors and to create the main color combination you will ever need for any types of paintings. You don't necessarily need to buy purples and orange colors as long as you have different tones of yellow, red, pink and blue. Although some purple can be difficult to recreate, you could also create many greens as long as you have different shades of yellow and blue. Especially if you had a touch of brown, you can create more earthy greenish type of colors. I should probably make a separate video about color combination, so let me know if you would be interested in this kind of video. But this is to explain that to my experience it's quite difficult to create certain colors just having a few selection of colors. Because for certain colors, which I will take as example, some colors from the Arteza 60 color set, so to name few pale yellow, toffee, stone blue and olive green, would be very difficult to create just with the 24 color set, because there are different pigment used in those colors that other colors don't have. And there are certain colors tone that you may want to use in your paintings, but aren't very easy to create or they can be harder to create if you don't have the right colors. So I'm happy to see that with the Arteza 60 gouache color set you get extra unique colors with different pigment use. And I'm so happy to have Naples Yellow in this set, which is one of my favorite colors to mix with other colors to create awesome color combination, but I'm also in love with the Aegean blue, not sure how to pronounce it, and stone blue, which are blue tones I don't have yet. So in my opinion, you don't need to buy 60 colors to make art and just the smaller set will be enough, especially if you are new to gouache and you still don't know if gouache is the right medium for you. But I'm not gonna lie that it's so nice to have such a variety of different colors to choose from that will step up even more my color palette selection that I can use in my works. And just looking at these tubes as they came in these plastic trays, they are like mini color palettes and they are very inspiring to paint something based on these color stories. And as a color lover, like myself and because I love to work with colors so much. I love having as many colors as I can, not mentioning that Arteza gouache is quite affordable compared if you would get 60 colors from a pricier gouache brand, so it's a good deal if you like to work with many colors like me. And having a wider selection of color, this can really help to those artists who have a difficult time creating certain colors. You know those situations where you mix colors to create the color you want, but then you realize you didn't mix enough color, so you have to recreate that color again, and might not turn out exactly the same. So having a wider range of colors, you can use those colors straight from the tubes, which makes the work process a bit easier and faster. So having a set with so many colors provides you with lots of options. You can really have fun experimenting with different color combinations and play with different color palettes. It's like a dream come true 
Having so many gouache colors, but at the same time I can get quite overwhelmed by having so much colors option to choose from. <laughs> but I'm not complaining and it will take me some time to get familiar with these colors. But I'm very excited to discover the many new color combinations I can create with these new colors. And for today's painting, I feel like I haven't properly used this set and the many colors at my disposal, but I never work on a painting with more than, I would say, three or five colors, although I use more than five colors to create different tones of the same color, and it was nice that I could use these colors straight off the tube without doing too much mixing, but I will definitely use this set in future videos for future paintings. By the way, if you are wondering, I cut the paper from the pad because personally I'm not very comfortable painting directly on the sketchbook pad and I taped the paper down on a hardboard support so that the painting wouldn't buckle and bend too much while painting. And I think that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this video and that it was somehow interesting and useful to you. I will leave all the links to Arteza website, Arteza YouTube channel and the links of all the products showed in the video in the description. In the description you will also find my personal coupon code available for a limited time with 10% off that you can use if you'd like to purchase anything from their website. And that's it! Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!